Apple can finally be bringing a much needed upgrade to the iPhone 17 Pro models, one that Samsung and other Android manufacturers have used for years. According to a well-known source, Instant Digital, two out of the four iPhone 17 models might feature a more advanced cooling system to help manage heat more efficiently, particularly during gaming or other high-performance tasks. This system, called Vapor Chamber Cooling, has already been implemented in many premium Android smartphones, and now Apple appears to be considering it for its Pro models. Early reports about this upgrade came from analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who initially suggested that Apple was looking into adding Vapor Chamber Cooling, but only for the iPhone 17 Pro Max. At first, it seemed like Apple would keep this feature exclusive to its top-tier model, while the rest of the lineup would continue using the graphite sheets found in previous iPhones. Later, rumors hinted that the entire iPhone 17 series might adopt this improved cooling system. However, the latest leak suggests that Apple has settled on middle ground. Only the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max will get the vapor chamber, while the standard iPhone 17 and the rumored iPhone 17 Air will not. So why is vapor chamber cooling such a big deal? Unlike traditional cooling solutions, which typically rely on graphite sheets to distribute heat, Vapor chambers use a more advanced, liquid-based process. A small amount of liquid inside the chamber absorbs heat from the processor and turns into vapor. This vapor then moves to a cooler section, condenses back into liquid, and releases the heat in the process. This cycle helps regulate temperature more effectively, keeping the processor from overheating and preventing performance drops caused by excessive heat. Many high-end Android phones, such as the Galaxy S25 Ultra and Ohm Plus 13, already use vapor chamber cooling to manage heat. As smartphone processors become more powerful, they also generate more heat, making efficient cooling systems more important than ever. Without proper heat dissipation, a phone can experience thermal throttling, where the processor reduces its speed to avoid overheating. This can lead to sluggish performance, lag, and an overall weaker experience when using demanding apps or playing graphics-intensive games. Apple's A-series chips are some of the fastest on the market, but even they aren't immune to overheating. With each new generation becoming more powerful, managing heat efficiently is becoming a bigger challenge. If the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max do receive vapor chamber cooling, it could help these devices maintain peak performance for longer periods, making them more suitable for power users, gamers, and those who use their phones for intensive tasks like video editing. It's interesting to see Apple finally catching up with Android manufacturers on this front. Samsung, OnePlus, and several other brands have been using vapor chamber cooling for years, yet Apple has continued relying on simpler methods. While iPhones have managed heat well in the past, the increasing demand for high-performance gaming and AI-powered features means better cooling is now more important than ever. Apple's decision to limit this feature to the Pro models also makes sense from a marketing standpoint. The company often introduces its most advanced features on higher-end models, giving customers a reason to choose the more expensive versions. If this leak is accurate, it could make the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max even more appealing to users who need top-tier performance. Of course, nothing is official yet, and Apple hasn't confirmed any details. But with multiple reports suggesting that vapor chamber cooling will be part of the iPhone 17 lineup, there's a good chance that at least some models will include this upgrade. If Apple wants to stay ahead in performance while keeping overheating issues under control, upgrading its cooling system could be a crucial step forward. What do you think? Should Apple have introduced vapor chamber cooling earlier, or have iPhones managed heat well enough without it? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech news.